Hello, I'm Entrism, and welcome back again to Besiege. Um, today I want to do something slightly different for video. I want to talk about trebuchets, so let's open up the sandbox. So, I've seen a few videos and stuff and people talking about building trebuchets so far, but no one who's been talking about building a trebuchet has actually been building a trebuchet. So, let's just open up a catapult, and let's just have a look at what a catapult is. This is a catapult. That end goes down, that end goes up. Projectile goes up and goes wee, but catapults weren't really used past. Well, they were used a bit, but when when you know you could use them, you probably would be using a, a catapult. They wouldn't be used past about you know really the Roman era was really the the main era of the catapult, and even then they only really used smaller catapults when they were like oh it's cheaper than a ballista. Catapults in general, not as good as later devices such as the trebuchet. Now, trebuchets are a type of catapult, and generally when I mean catapult, I mean something like a catapult that is not a trebuchet. A trebuchet is a type of catapult, a catapult is not a type of trebuchet. That's, just get that, a trebuchet is a subset of catapults. So, when people say, oh, this is a trebuchet, no, this is a catapult. What I want to show you is something that I thought was impossible, but we actually made it last night on the stream. This is mostly a trebuchet. Now, there are a couple of issues with making trebuchets in Besiege. I mean, this is built with the free build mode off, so, you know, we've got this limit on the size you can really build. And as you can see, that we're kind of taking up most of the room in there. Ideally, you want the arm to be longer. Now, the way that most catapults work, and in particular trebuchets, is you have the small arm here, which has a lot of force applied and goes down. This long arm then has the force multiplied and it goes wee, And then you project a projectile and, you know, high velocity because of the difference in, you know, the arms, so you get more momentum. However, this actually works a lot better. And the reason is, if you see here, this bit here. Now, on actual normal trebuchets, this would be a sling. So effectively, you'd have a sling attached to an arm. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have rope or fabric in this game. So I've had to make do using free-floating hinges. But they work fine. The point is to give it an extra flick. So basically, when this fires up... When this arm gets to nearly vertical, there'll be an extra flick, and that flick should impart more momentum into the bomb. And it does, in fact, do that. This projectile actually gets a lot further. Now I've added this. Now, normally for trebuchet, there are basically two types of trebuchet. There are traction trebuchets, which involve people, like, pulling on this end uh, and it coming down. And then there are counterweight trebuchets, which are the common type, and they dominated even into the era of gunpowder to a certain extent. Um, trebuchets were so good that they basically become the thing you would use to attack, you know, a, a defended city, something with a wall, any sort of siege weapon, the trebuchet was your man. Now, this doesn't use a counterweight. I was actually experimenting with counterweights when we were making this on stream last night. They work to a certain extent, but generally in Besiege, springs are so much better. So this is kind of like a traction trebuchet in the effect that instead of people, like, pulling down, it's a spring. So, your force really doesn't come from gravity, it comes from the fact that these springs are actually driven, that they aren't springs in that they're passive, they actually have a force that they can do. They're basically like super fast pistons that are flexible, which is weird. So, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. Um, let me just make sure I've got the key bindings right. Your H, okay. Now the thing is, we have to try and gra use the grabber to grab the bomb, and this can be difficult. As you can see, kind of difficult. Right, so let's pull down with H. If I pull down with that and then get the grabber to come down. Right. Now, here's the thing. As we pull this forwards, we have to make sure not to scrape it on the ground. Because if we scrape it, it will detonate. So let me begin by applying force to those springs. Got to be careful about decoupling this. Okay, decouple. Get the bomb out. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, we have this end is coming down nicely. Now, this arm is only about three times the length of this one. You really want about four to six, preferably six. And you see this swinging up, giving extra momentum. So I can detach at the top of the swing. Now, unfortunately, this arm did swing a little bit late, this last bit of the arm here. I would have preferred to actually release it maybe when it was swinging, but there's a bit of a late release. So we're going to get a little bit less energy than usual. So let's speed this up and see where it lands. That's pretty good. That's what, like 
three times the distance to the windmill? Maybe towards four? And... I was about to say, no, we're still intact. We're not, actually. We are, we are technically intact. But the grabber has grabbed our own... No? No, no, we're intact. We could, in effect, we could reload and fire again. Oh, no, the grabber has actually broken. Yeah, we did break. Okay. But this is a lot more chance of reloadability than, say, the ballista. The ballista that I fired repeatedly breaks every time you fire it. And this actually has a chance of being reloadable. So you could put extra bombs down here or something. Now, the problem is you probably detonate the bombs. And the uh, the way that we have a, currently have a decoupler for pulling back the arm doesn't really allow it to be reloaded. So let's just start again. Right, so H will pull down on these to pull the arm back. Now, technically, the weight of the arm will actually do the pulling back for you. But the problem is, if you do that, you hit the bomb too hard. You need to be able to really sort of be very careful about how you attach to the bomb. Right, so here we go. Bring it towards the bomb. And I think we're... Yep, that is that is the issue with the trebuchet. Yeah, let's try that again. Okay. Uh, wait, let's just wait for the explosion to go. Bye-bye, explosion. Right. No, don't tell me about the wooden block. Thank you. Start releasing. Go, 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 go. Pull. Pull. Arm, 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 arm. Yes, yes. That little flick. Okay. Bit early on the release. Bit early on the release. Um, while it was early on the release, still think it was a good shot. So yeah, plenty of distance, and that is why trebuchets are pretty goddamn awesome. And catapults are not all trebuchets. Anyway, I've been at Elysium, and this has been Besiege! I'm gonna have to improve on this design. Hmm. If you've liked, remember to like, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. But, uh, until next time, stay shiny.